Hi stampers! Today I'm going to show you a simple duplicatable card. I designed a card actually for a coloring class, um, but just by doing a few couple um, different things, I made it very simple instead of having to do the coloring with the Stampin' Blends. Welcome to Stampin' with Diane. I'm Diane Evans and I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So here's the card that we did in the coloring class. And what we did was uh, I was showing them how to do different coloring. And I showed them how to blend with the colors and give the illusion of light hitting uh, on the poppies. But today I'm going to show you a simple way to color the poppies without the blends. So what you're going to need is you are going to need the Painted Poppies Bundle. And this includes the stamp set and the dies. Um, remember, you do get, um, when you buy them together, you get a 10% dis discount. So who doesn't like to save money, right? So then we are also using Poppy Parade cardstock. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored it four and a quarter. We have a piece of Whisper White. And the Whisper White is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I use those to cut out... Um, I'll, I'll actually go through and show you what I used them for cutting out afterwards. Uh, the basic black, I had three and a quarter by three and a quarter. It's a square one and a strip of a half an inch uh, basic black. And this I get an awful lot when I do layering on cards. So I save all of these. And the pair of pizzazz is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then a piece of the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper. And it's two and three, no, one and a qu three quarters by five and a quarter. I used the words also from the Peaceful Moment stamp set and I used these dies as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we put this card together. So with this, we're just gonna score it and we're gonna use our bone folder to go in. Like I said, this is a very, very simple card with no coloring with it at all. With this, I cut out from these painted label dies. I cut a piece of this out of there. So I've got that to go on there. I also used this on here. And if you notice, I went quite simple here. And I probably should have used this simple and done this other for the card. But anyways, I cut out three of these strips there. For there. Then I also used um, from here, I used this die and this die, and I cut out two of this, the smaller poppies, and one of the larger poppies. I used, for here, I cut out these dies, and these, these leaves actually came from the Poppy Moments dies. These ones here, and these leaves here came from here. Now, for simplicity, I didn't go ahead and stamp these. I basically just went and um, did that, and we're going to do some sponging on there to give it some color. All right, so I've cut those out. So I'm just going to put a piece of or of the tear and tape right down along the left side. And by doing this, I can just easily layer those scalloped edges along there. So with that, I just did this. There's a right and a wrong side when you cut with dies. Just put that like there along there. Press that down. Layered the next one. And then I just need a tiny little piece here as well. It's easier to do it this way and then just snip it off. Whoops, snip it off at the end. Looks like I may not have gotten that tear and tape right to the end. Yes, I. No, I didn't. So you know what, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of tear and tape along this edge because we're gonna use it to stick it down on the card anyways. So, so let me just put this in here. And 
and take that off as well. But I do want that to go right to the edge. Just gonna line that up like that. And I'm just gonna take a paper snips. that straight across. And we can use that for something else if we want to. So it just adds a tiny bit of a different look on there, right? So let's go ahead and use our snail and put that down onto the front of our card. And I get, I'm going to put it off this way. Such a pretty edging, that's for sure. Okay, then on this piece, I'm just, I'm actually going to layer that. So we're gonna bring in our black dimensionals. And just put those on the back. There's always a right and a wrong side with these dies. Um, and these ones have such beautiful stitched edgings on them. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera but they're stitched and they're so pretty. And stick this on. Like so. Now, I have gone ahead and put, set, done a template, so to stamp these poppies. So I showed another video showing how to do templates with the Stamparatus. It's really, really quite simple. So we're just gonna put that in there. I always do these templates out of um, the extra thick Whisper White, because it just gives a bit of a way for the um, poppies to fall in there. See, they just fall in there. Like that. And we're going to use Memento ink. I forgot to mention the inks that we're using. Today we're using, um, I just want to put this down below so I've got something to hold it up with. Sorry for the arm there. Um, I'm using Memento ink for this part here. Um, we're going to do some other coloring with the Poppy Parade, but I'll show you how that gets done. Let's just press that down. do it a little bit more because I want that black to be in the middle of the poppy to be quite uh, vibrant or dark so to speak there we go that's better just pull that one out and we'll just pull this one out as well and we'll do the second poppy the second smaller poppy And I think we'll go in once more and do that. That's the beauty of using the Stamparatus, that's for sure. You can always make it a darker. Um, if you miss a spot, it works really good. All right. So we can take that part away for the Stamparatus. Because I've actually done the sayings also with the Stamparatus. Um, where did I put those sayings? Okay. So I just took my template. I'm just going to put that right into the corner there. And I'd line these up for a class. Um, some of my newer stampers feel more comfortable with, comfortable with the stamper at us. So I think on this one, I'm going to do a happy birthday. So I've actually cut this frame from the ornate frames dies. And it's from this one. This one did carry over from the holiday catalog. And there's actually a stamp set that goes along with it as well. Anyways, I'm going to put this happy birthday. I'm hoping that it's big enough. Like I say, they have their choice in the class of what they want to put on there. So, yeah, that could be big enough, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. 
You could also take some words from here. There's other things that you could put, thinking of you with all my heart, that would fit onto there. This beautiful thank you would fit on there. That would be really nice. Okay, I might change that out later on. So I have that. And then all we're going to do is bring these in. And in this stamp set, there's also this water coloring um, type stamp there. So I've mounted that and we're going to use the Poppy Parade ink. This kind of gives a watercolor look. It doesn't match up any way in particular. It's kind of nice when it's just done any which way. And with it there as well. And then we're just going to bring in that um, those dies that we cut, the leaf dies that we cut. And I just used actually old olive on here. And the reason I used old olive is because old olive is a color that is actually in the DSP pack. So we're just gonna go and just sponge that up. Like I say, I didn't stamp on these because then it would have meant either doing a template or stamping and then um, cutting them out. And I wanted this to be a fairly simple card. So this makes it relatively simple. And then we're just there, a little bit more on this leaf, whoops, on the right side. And then what we're going to do is we are going to just also do it on this leaf. I'm not sure what we're gonna use, but we'll go and we'll put the card together. So bring the card back in and then we're just going to use our dimensionals and because I'm putting it on black I'm going to use my black dimensionals again. Let's just put this one and let's layer that one up about there and then with these side poppies let's just put them down there. Let's see. and on there as well. So like I say, this gives a bit different of a color, coloring effect than using the dimensionals. And then I just brought in my Tombow glue and I'm just going to actually go, you know what, I think I should put the sentiment on. Where did I put that sentiment? There we go. I'm gonna put it on next. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so that I know where the leaves are going. So we'll just put that on with two of the dimensionals, the regular dimensionals. And let's put it there. I think I'm going to change this out and put the happy birthday on, or the thank you on there. It's always nice to have a thank you card. Okay, so I'm just taking my Tombow and I'm just going to a bit of it on the back. I'm sure it's not going to come out now. And that's not working very well. There we go. I had it sitting upright and you should always have your Tombow sitting down going to kind of let that dry a little bit. Bring these. I might even pop up some of one of these with a dimensional. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do until I actually put them on there. So this one's going to come down at the bottom. I'm actually going to put it right completely under the black. And then let's see. There's that. I know there's that other green one here. Oh here we go. Let's see where that's gonna go. Maybe we can put that down there. Yeah, that'll look good there. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit here.
can just slip it underneath the poppies. And I think we could put, do we want to put one more there? Two, one, two, three, four. I always like to try to do five. One, two, three. That actually doesn't look too bad. I think we're going to just leave it like that. So there you have it. It's very simple. And it goes from this to this. So which way do you prefer um, to do it? The sim the, with the coloring blends or just with the stamping? Um, give me your thoughts. I'd really appreciate that. So... Um, just think of this way too. You can you can actually take different designer series paper from that pack, and you could just switch it up a little bit. Um, the combinations that you can use here are are endless, actually. Now, if you need any of these supplies, and you do live in Canada, I would love to be your demonstrator. I do have an online um, bonus. Um, if you do use this hostess code um, in my online store. Um, I do have a tutorial um, that I will send to you. It has a Valentine's slash love theme. And there's about 15 different exclusive projects on there. Nowhere are these projects shown anywhere. Uh, none of us can post them onto our blog or anything like that. So they are exclusive. Um, but like I say, if um, you do shop, use that hostess code. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Tell me which one you do prefer. Also, um, give me the thumbs up, and there is, on my YouTube channel, there is a place to subscribe. Subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.